Hi, this is Jim McNeil. I'm with Orb TV, and I'm joined here today with Bruce Kelly, Chief hey, Technology Jim. Officer, Senior Vice President for NetScout. And Bruce's area of expertise is service provider and carriers. Bruce creates the strategies for NetScout in terms of how we support our carrier customers. So Bruce, what's been on your mind? What have you been thinking about in terms of you know, dealing with the demands of this marketplace? Yeah, I think the number one thing that we do as a company is we provide visibility, right? And that visibility is really important when you look at the trends that are going on. You see a lot of technologies here around the sh show around connected cars, 5G, IOT, and whatnot. And NetScout as a company, our mission, and, and what I'm doing the strategy, really is to make sure that they're confident to be able to go roll out those technologies and compete in the marketplace. And one of the biggest trends we're seeing is in the telco that's very disruptive, and we want to aid in this, what I call journey to the cloud, uh, cloud transformation, is they have these big networks. These big networks aren't going to go away, so they've got 2G, 3G, 4G. 2G's still around, right? right? And, but what's happened is they want to become more agile, right? They want to roll out applications and services creatively and quickly. And to do that, they really got to um, disrupt themselves in the way that they're you know, building these applications and the, and the demands of uh, how they would deal with their suppliers is changing right. dr dramatically right now. They're, they're moving more in the direction of like the big web players such as Facebook and Google, right? They're going to a software-based model. So when they're throwing away the hardware the proprietary hardware that vendors used to deliver, and it's going onto a common hardware platform, right? Yeah. It's all white box. Yes. Right, so that does what? What does that do for these, these yeah, customers? Yeah, so, so that's why someone like a Netflix or a Google who embraced this new paradigm of software, and I'll, I'll talk to you today about things like service chains and microservices and all these terms, Right. but to raise it up a little bit, what what what, what is that enabling? It's enabling them, the Netflix, the Googles, like you mentioned in, in earlier in here is that they can roll out a service in a day, a week. When they roll one instance of a service out, they can just press a button. Once they've done it for one, they can roll it out across right. the nation. Right. Right. So, so they're on a different playing field now. Whereas, well, they can do that because there's no humans involved, right? right. It's an automated process. That's right. So we used to talk about truck rolls back in the day of rolling out broadband and cable and all that stuff. Today we're trying to kill the truck roll, but the truck roll is really provisioning. It's it's stacking up an, another appliance. It's putting a man in the data center. Get them out, right? Yes. How do you and, do and that? And you really want to move towards automation. So the exactly. key here is automation, automation, number one. And then the second thing I mentioned was service chains. Well, what's a service chain? Let's take an example. Maybe that's the easiest Let's way. Let's do that. So if I was going to roll out a new video on demand service, okay. I would really rather go to all my suppliers, like the Cisco's and the Huawei's and Juniper's of the world, and say, yeah, see that router? I want it as software. What is that? That's a macro service element. If they just took the router, ported it to software, gave it to me, I have software. I can now have a big, small, large, extra large router, so I got flexibility. Yeah. But I, you know, it's, it's, I think only the first step in, the, in what I would call design for cloud. Mm -hmm. So if you looked at a, a Verizon, they talk about their VCP platform in public, or, or these players, is they want their vendors, their suppliers, to develop microservices.